Hello, I'm Jesse, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. I've played the NES and PlayStation versions of Final Fantasy ages ago. This will be my first time playing through the Pixel Remaster. I've modified the character sprites for fun, so that's why they look like this. Well, let's start. New game. Again, these are not the original character sprites. And in this playthrough, I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. I'm only going to be using a party of three instead of four. One of each mage. A party of three instead of four means these three mages are going to be taking a lot more hits from the enemy. And this means there's no warrior to tank. Instead, we'll be using a red mage to fill the tank roll. We have our white mage. We have our black mage. And the thief will be knocked out and transformed into a cat in the first fight, effectively leaving us a party of three for the remainder of the playthrough. You'll see what I mean. Just quickly give these people names. We'll name our red mage Wangu. That's just a name I commonly use for characters. The white mage will name Vinette. And the black mage will name Rural. Yes. For the thief, um, we'll name Cat just so we are clear that she will be a cat. Done. Three mages and a cat. Wangu, Vinette, Rural, and Cat. Begin with this party. Well, this isn't optimal, but this actually might be more difficult than I thought it would be. Or what I'm expecting. But that's alright, it'll be interesting. So, let's start. The world lies shrouded in darkness. The winds die. The seas rage. Earth decays. But the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. After a long journey, Four young travelers did, at least, at last appear. And in the hand of each was clutched a crystal. So, here's our warriors of light, just appearing in this world. Each holding a crystal. Not sure what we're doing here just yet, but let's go to the weapon shop. Welcome. We'll buy a rapier for the red mage, a hammer for the white mage. These used to cost 10 gold back on the NES. So prices have already been are different from what I'm used to. Welcome. Clothes. Well, at least we already have clothes. In the NES, we didn't even spawn with clothes. You'd have to buy them. Mm, Chainmail. Or a tank. Let's equip. Optimal. We'll remove everything from the cat. 
because we're going to be knocking them out soon. Optimal. 11 attack. This is as much as the Red Mage. Red Mage has more accuracy, though. And... Oh, and we'll sell everything. Two knives, some clothes, and a staff. 400 gil left. I was going to call it gold. Buy some white magic. 50 gold each. Alright. Seems like I can buy a lot. We'll get a cure. Dia deals damage to all undead. That'll be useful. Protect and blink. Oh. Hmm. It doesn't say, but protect actually gives you 8 defense. And blink gives you 80 evasion. Not sure which one they get. I feel like Protect would be good in the early game, but it's only 8 defense, so it's not going to age well in the late game. Whereas Blink would be useful throughout the whole game. You only you have to cast Blink 2 or 3 times, and you'll be dodging everything. Do I get the Blink, or do I get the Protect? Oh man. What would you get? I guess I'll get Blink. We can always forget it and learn Protect if we need to. Oh, I'll buy Cure for the Red Mage. To help out with the healing. Let's get some Black Magic. Oh, yeah. the character sprite. Right, because I changed the character sprites. Or black mage and white mage, so all the white mages and black mages, or actually all the mages are going to be I mean the NPCs are going to be different. Alright. Fire. A staple to every RPG. Let's get some thunder. How much gill we have? A hundred left. We can afford two more spells. We'll buy thunder and... Hmm. Do I get a sleep? Oh, this one didn't even work on the NES. I heard they fixed all the bugs in this game, so... This probably works now, but... Is there really a use for it? Maybe if you have like a party of thieves that can't hit anything. This would be useful. But you do get better spells later. Sleep or Thunder? Ah, uh, I guess I'll get Sleep, just in case. 33 gil left. Alright. Excuse me, sir. Oh, guards in the way. The king is searching for the prophesized. Warriors of Light. Hey, that's us. Those crystals. You must see the king at once. Oh, alright. Guess we're getting escorted to the king. Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry crystals. Is this true? Hi. We have crystals. It's just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Your Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. What do you mean? We got crystals. Yet, they stand before us with crystals. See? I cannot dismiss this as mere coincidence. Crystal Bears, there is a task I would ask of you. Will you rescue my daughter, Sarah? Um, a garland, a knight once in his Majesty's service has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid in the name of His Majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves, but Garland is the finest swordsman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. 
That's because you have a population of 20 in your town. I have heard of you. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. We do? Who said anything about that? The bridge leading north was lost long ago, making passage impossible. If you can rescue Sarah, I will have the bridge rebuilt as a token of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. Um, alright. If you say so. Oh yeah, there's a run button. Sweet. Okay, first thing is, we got to transform our thief into a cat. By doing... By knocking them out. So we're going to put them in the first row because the first row is going to be targeted by the enemy a lot more. And we'll make them attack. Apparently there's a defend. That's new. I don't know how much defend does. Like does it half all incoming damage or what? One damage. There we go. Oh, we can speed this up. We'll just let these goblins take care of Cat. Come on. There we go. Transformed into a cat. And now she's just gonna sleep. And sit out on all the battles. Now a lot of playthroughs you'll see whenever they knock out party members is they'll run from the first fight. But to me that just doesn't matter. This is my playthrough so I'm going to do whatever I want in the back. We'll let the cat sleep. That should be a good order. And since we only have three party members and they're only mages, definitely gonna want to level up a little bit. And oh wow, even the black mage is one-shotting goblins already. OP. Look at that. Who needs fire or magic when you can just beat them with your staff? Level up. Alright. Let's see what we get. 2 HP, strength, and stamina. Very good. Wow, look at all that HP. Up to 58. 1 HP, 1 Intellect, very good. Ooh, wolves. Maybe I should use Fire. Wolves have 20 HP. Oh wow, 42, very strong. I mean, if the health, if the enemy stats are the same as the NES, goblins should have 8, wolves have 20, great goblins have 16, level 3. Also, since we only have three party members, they're going to be gaining more XP. There we go, 58 HP for the Red Mage. Big tank. Only three HP that time. 51. Very good. Guess we'll just keep going until we need to rest. Oops. We we'll use some magic. 
That should be good. Just keep leveling until we run out of health. Red Mage is doing two hits already. Bennett just smashing the goblin skull with her hammer. There are stronger enemies in this forest. Pretty sure you can fight like mad ponies and skeletons over here. HP. Very good. 84. 76. That should be good. Thirty gil. They kept the price for that the same. Oh, even the cat gets its own bed. Where is our cat? Don't mind me, just a cat. Excuse me, sir. Welcome. Look at all the items. I'll buy an antidote, just one, just in case. Look at all this stuff ethers, phoenix downs. This is all new to me. This is going to change stuff significantly. Very good. Alright, let's go get this garland. I read they rebalanced the game, so it's a lot easier now. Seems that's the case. Not having any trouble at all so far. Let's see how these skeletons do to us. The red mage, our tank, has the least amount of HP. But they're only doing like one damage to him. Alright. Alright, this is where things start getting serious. Fighting creeps and zombies. Werewolves. Mm -hmm. Try fire. I'm not sure how strong this werewolf is. I think he can poison. I'm not sure. Don't want to stick around to find out. Oops. 
That's not what I meant to do. I just wanted to attack everyone. Auto battle. Wow, look at all that XP. Holy cow. Other cap. Who should we give it to? Guess we'll give it to the tank. He has the least amount of HP. Oh, a spider. I'm not sure if they're weak to fire, but... Oh. Easy. One hit, dead. Two HP. Three. One HP. That was kind of a lousy level up. That's a lot of wolves. Should I use sleep? I only have one. No, I have two spells left. Hmm. I want to save those for Garland. Oh my god. 12 damage. 20 damage? Yikes. Maybe I should have slept them. That's right. Focus the red mage. Gotta kill that leader. There he goes. One damage, one damage. Tank's holding up pretty good. Who needs a warrior? Just auto battle. Make this quicker. Keep an eye on their health. Maybe I will heal the Black Mage, just in case she gets targeted twice. Come on. Lucky. Look at all that XP. Worth. Heal everyone up. Red Mage is out of magic. A potion. And a tent. Could use the tent to rest outside. Get the magic back. Skeletons are weak, like goblins. Maybe they have a little more HP, I don't remember. Where's Garland? A ghoul. Ambushed. Yikes. I'll save one fire for Garland. Ninety-nine, holy crap. So much. Here we go. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be by. Why does he want Cornelia for? And why? Why did he think this plan would ever work to begin with? Who's there? 
the king's lapdogs. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? You really think you have what it takes to cross swords with me? Very well. I, Garland, will knock you all down. Enemies look fantastic. I'm really digging the enemy sprites. So. Oh, I should have healed first. Yikes. Oof. Forty one damage. Attack. Well, that's it. Beat him with your staff. 28 damage. 2 damage. Kind of sucks. Hmm. Should probably be better off just defending. 1 HP. Yikes. 7 damage. 18. Alright, we got this. Get in there. Crap, how much HP does he have? There he goes. Easy game. Level 6 already. 88 HP. 113. Big level ups. 1 HP. At least we got some intellect. You've come to rescue me? I am Princess Sarah. I am Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. Words could never be enough to thank you. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. You must allow me to show my gratitude. Please, accompany me to the castle, Cornelia. Well, we did it. We beat the game. We saved the princess. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt that you are the Warriors of Light from Wukong's prophecy. Well, yeah, we have the crystals. We showed you. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety. <clears throat> if I may. Wait, there's more? When darkness veils the world, four Warriors of Light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. Four crystals will never shine again. Now I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. I will have the bridge rebuilt, as I promised. I pray that you succeed in restoring light to the Four Crystals and to the world. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we just appear here and... Wait just a moment. Yes, Princess? This loot has been entrusted to the Princesses of Cornelia for many generations. When he abducted me, Garland took his loot, this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you on your journey. Alright, I guess we'll play some tunes around the fire when we're bored. Bridge building cutscene. Ooh, pretty water. So one of the things I was really looking forward to in this version, Pixel Remaster, was the new music, or the updated music. Orders from His Majesty were to do our part to fulfill Wukong's prophecy. The music's really nice. I was hoping for like orchestra, real instruments, maybe a choir at some point. Electric guitar? I don't know. But it's good so far. I like it. 
the sprites are really cute. The environments are really crisp. It's good. Why does this bridge have to do with the prophecy? The four warriors of light are here. They're here in Cornelia. Man, it sounds like they were just waiting for an excuse to build the bridge. They could have done it a long time ago. Alright, we need to rest. We're pretty tired. Please come in. Does sleeping save your game? Doesn't seem like it. See. Just looking at their HP. 88, 113, 78. Very good. Oh wait. I think... Yeah, I can learn the last spell. We have lots of gill now. What is it? A thunder? Yeah. Thunder! Very good. What's the dancer say? So why are you still here? Weren't you supposed to be crossing that bridge to the north? You must really want to dance with me. Hee <laughs> hee. Here we go. Crossing the bridge. The three warriors of light and a cat, which I suppose is also a warrior of light. And so their quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. They did not even know the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. The crystals at once, long ago, held a light that shone so brilliantly. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. So it's like, they just appear in this world, holding crystals. Not really sure how, but they got this burning feeling that they got to save the world. Is that what I'm... Is that what's happening? That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Have a wonderful day.